<clears throat> hello there, hello there, Virgo. This is Terra Illumination with your love and relationship report for November 2017. The convention is that we use star signs apparently, so that's what we're doing. Um, cards were already well shuffled in advance. We're going to keep going just a little bit just so that you're a witness. No jumpers, no flyers, no oracles, no reversals, none of it. Just very, very simple. We're going to try and get straight to the point here and so that you guys can get on with your day. Just one of the things um, I was noticing about Virgo, and I haven't paid much attention to it, but, you know, if you put Virgo on the astrology chart on the horizon, then Pisces would be over there on your seventh house of significant relationship, you know, the marriage contract, the business contract. Well, Neptune is right there in the middle of it all, okay? Uh, Neptune is in Pisces, so it could be adding a very, very, very beautiful spiritual, let's say, tone to the relationships, uh, to significant relationships for you, Virgo. It could be um, colored with the energy of illusions and delusions, but also beautiful divine uh, spirituality in the most, like, the most ideal relationship dynamic you could possibly imagine on earth. Something very rare, something very beautiful, uh, something very, let's say, very hard to hold on to, very hard to maintain, but very true in its own way, uh, very susceptible to uh, just the slightest disturbances. Uh, but it's very, very beautiful, okay? Just so long as you don't let it turn into um, like delusions okay so let's have a look um, we've already shuffled let's just get on with it uh, we're not going to talk a lot about the astrology anyway we're just going to get on with your reading here we go we're going to cut and then go for it all right here we go whoa wow that was a big cut excuse me This would be your energy, Virgo. This would be a chosen one, a significant other. This would be uh, going deep into you, going deep into the other. This is going to the core of the relationship itself right now. And this would be the, well, let's just have a look. Can you see here? This is the crucible. I like to call this a crucible spread. It, the crucible is a is a very, very tough, typically ceramic type of bowl that can withstand intense pressure, the kind that happens in uh, intense chemical reactions, for example, in laboratories, such that in a really good, strong, healthy relationship, the crucible is very strong, and both parties relate through the relationship, through the crucible. They place themselves in the crucible uh, for the safety and security of the relationship, and they invest in the crucible so that they can enjoy the intimacies and separations, the joys and the sorrows and the ups and downs and the journeys of the relationship without the relationship falling apart. That's the point anyway. That's the, that, that's the Terra Illumination perspective. So the relationship itself has its own life and identity and structure here, and so there's a bit of momentum going forward from there, okay? So that's how the energy works, okay? And we're going to look at this in the moment. This is like circumstantial energy. I like to call it the weather. And that's just prevailing conditions, and it's out there, and you're just going to make the best of it. All right, Virgo? And you have the strength card. So it's an indication that this might be a time period for you really to come into your own, but it also could be a kind of a grappling type of experience where like, you're very aware of like the raw nature of yourself, as you, the Virgo person, full of passion, life, desire to be who you really are, and wanting to totally go for it, yet also on the understanding that there's a higher purpose why we are here, who we are, what we are doing here. We're not just here on this planet Earth to simply just gorge on lustful situations that are uh, just purely for our own satisfaction. It's about bringing like profound meaning and purpose into our life so that it's almost like we are at service to the will of heaven so that that permeates out through your virgo in such a way that others can sense it as well in other words virgo isn't just out for themselves virgo has a reason to be here they realize they are here for others and others are there here for them and we're all in this together it's about pulling together and making it work 
that's how I feel this for you. Okay, Virgo. So the, the circumstances are ripe for you to kind of rise up to, let's say, higher frequencies of being that you've never really maybe had the chance before, but the, the circumstances are good for it now. So you can kind of get a grip of what I was just talking about and then start to make that happen in your life. So let's have a look at you. So whatever is actually happening around you now, uh, Virgo, in your circumstances is just the way it should be. In other words, you're getting what you deserve and others are getting what they deserve, given how you've played out your life so far in terms of like, let's say, karma, like the laws of karma. In other words, everything is exactly as it should be because it can't be any other way. It's just a collection of millions of decisions that you made into your life up to this point. And guess what? This is exactly how as it should be. No matter if you've had a really rough time or you're having a really good time, either way, it's a consequence of decisions. So there you go. It's not good or it's not bad. It's just this is how things are. And it might be that decisions are being made right now in your life, in your world, Virgo, about what to do and how to do it, how to restore and how to attain harmony and balance in your own life, in your own world, in even including in relationship. This is very much your energy, but it is a relationship reading. So there, you might be feeling a very, very strong desire or very, very strong urge to bring things to justice, bring things to harmony, bring things to balance in ways that would indicate they might have been out of balance for some time. And it is time to get things squared away um, according to the laws of karma. In other words, if justice has to be called out, then it has to be called out. And it's not being, you know, uh, if there's something unpleasant that needs to be doled out, it's not being done for the purposes of like just being mean and vicious. It's done because it's uh, it's important in order to main order and structure going forward. In other words, if there's something that that is unjust that has been happening and it's been tolerated, it's now time to call it out and say enough. OK, enough. We need to bring things to balance back into order. That means. It's almost like going to court, you know, or getting a judgment if necessary, or putting the relationship in a state of where everything's on the table and we're putting it all out there. So we're saying, well, what are we going to do with this? We need to restore order and justice and balance. So Virgo, this is pretty strong energy, you know, for you to come in with. Okay. Uh, maybe you feel justified. Maybe it's actually kind of working. Maybe uh, what you know what we were talking about earlier about that uh, Neptune and the idealization of relationships and the making things, uh, the purification and the refining of relationships so that they can resonate at the highest frequencies so that it isn't just about base body needs or gratification of self. The relationship is very much about bringing it into justice, bringing it into harmony with higher spiritual laws in order to honor the, the the laws of universal love that neptune would uh you know require and demand in this type of relationship situation so you just might be calling it out virgo saying oh, no enough is enough i want this i need this i deserve this i'm calling it out and if someone else is calling it on on you well so be it but this is your energy all right virgo let's have a look at the other well, well, with the three of wands here over on a significant other, they might be starting to think, oh my gosh, wow, I never thought about that. I never expected that. Justice is served. I'm getting what I deserve, whatever that might be. I'm not saying it's good or bad here in the reading, but it's just that it's like karma coming home to roost. You know, you make your decisions, you plant your seeds. Like if you plant seeds of love, if you are loving, you are loved, you are loving, you are loved, then it eventually, eventually turns into reciprocal love for you. If you've been planting seeds for anything other than love, then you get whatever that was. And all you're doing here is seeing the consequences here. So with a significant other over here, Virgo, whoever that might be, they are seeing 
justice served. In other words, if they really deserve something wonderful and very, very beautiful that is to do with you, Virgo, in the context of a relationship, then it's something that they deserve and that you deserve. If something is unjust and out of whack and needs to be called out and justice served, then they are getting what they deserve and you are getting what you deserve wherever that leads, because this card still has momentum about moving forward, because this is just the, the energy of energy of um, coming home to roost. In other words, it's like a seeing, well, not wishes fulfilled, but seeing, starting to see signs that destiny is either fulfilled or becoming fulfilled in a way that's evident. You're starting to see it and witness it and feel it. That's for the other person, okay, Virgo? That's not for you, that's for them. So Virgo, if this is your energy and you're deciding to like call it out, I need to raise my standards, I need to honor this, I need to honor this calling in the conditions around, the environment around, to rise up and uh, really rise up into my own strength, rise, raise my own standards to, of spirituality, then you might be attract, you Virgo might be attracting someone who is a really good match in that way who deserves that and they're getting what come what's coming to them in other words they would be that symbolic energy of the universal love that very very beautiful uh, serene divine type type of expression of love in the seventh house dynamic which is what we're talking about anyway here in relationships anyway seventh house astrology type stuff okay sorry i said i wouldn't talk much about the astrology pardon me so from their perspective um, they might be very, very pleased about this. And it's happening in a very judicious way. I mean, where there's no cups here or anything like that, but it would be felt in a way that's just, it's almost like they're feeling it like, wow, this is actually real. This can actually happen. Wow. That's amazing. I can see it now. Finally, after all this time. Okay. <clears throat> so, and of course, the, the shadow version of that, which would be like the Neptune energy in shadow, would by if things are being called out uh, in such a way that whatever is inappropriate is being exposed and called out and justice served, then they're going to get that as well. In other words, oh dear, I had a feeling this was coming. I wasn't sure when, but it's happening now. Oh dear. Oops. It's that kind of energy. Just depending on who the other person is and the actual deeper core nature of the relationship. You would know that Virgo, not Terra Illumination. Terra Illumination is not a fortune teller. Okay. So let's have a look. What's deeper inside of you, Virgo? Okay. So my feeling is that if you're in a position, let's just say it's a very awkward position where you are being called about, called upon to call, call for justice, or someone is calling for justice and you feel it happening and you feel like there's no way out of it because with the you know with these two cards here they're very big cards and it could feel as though it's almost like fated where there's no way out of this situation it's just what is and you have to deal with it the only way out is through so what that could leave you with Virgo on on the inside is that there's something really sad about this in other words if it means by calling out the truth and executing justice, it means someone's getting what they deserve, which could be their walking papers, for example, then that could be very tragic and very, very sad for you. If it means that something wonderful is happening uh, for you and you're calling it out and you're making it happen by decision, okay, because you feel called upon to raise your standards and operate in a more, like say, spiritually evolved um, manner. And you're attracting something that's, or someone who's very good for you. It could still indicate this degree of, this card of grief and sorrow and sadness here, because I'm just going to say it very simply. It could mean like you might have really enjoyed living and conducting your life at this, let's say, status where you were fully, like, let's say, immersed in your own sense of self and power and you knew everything, all of the good stuff and all the bad stuff worked just fine the way it was. And now, no way out of it. 
the pressure is to rise and evolve and take all of your like sort of natural born gifts and turn them into a mission and a purpose and a reason for being which answers according to the will of heaven which means you having to leave behind delicious ways that you might have loved and so be it of course there's still the two little cups here in the background so don't you know don't panic don't fear it's just that it feels to me like in order to evolve and grow in your love and relationship dynamics it means perhaps leaving something behind that you dearly dearly love or that's already lost and in order to access and tune in back into the old-fashioned little two of cups pure love which would be very symbolic of like the Neptune and Pisces energy over here, perhaps with a significant other who might resonate at those frequencies with you. However, at this time period, it might feel as though you're being torn, uh, like torn up here because of all the regrets and the sadness and the grief of, let's say, having to evolve, having to move on by calling it out, realizing that it's time to, you know, execute justice here and drawing a line in the sand there's no going back there's no going back to say uh, low frequency ways of being and the only way out is through so you go forward so you start resonating at these higher frequencies where you do take all your divine gifts and make them work according to the will of heaven so that you are operating at your most highly evolved highly spiritual uh, self like never before you know it's just like like this could happen to anybody in any aspect of their life where they're saying goodbye to a way of being that they dearly loved and they've known for uh, for some time and it's just very very hard to say goodbye and let go and realize that it's all lost and gone however the prospects are still looking good here in some way or other and also it's because you're being called upon to move and advance and grow in that way as well even if it might cause deep heartache for you I'm sorry that sounds like I'm being really tough on you Virgo I don't mean to be it's just that that's kind of what I'm feeling here all right let's have a look at deep inside the other okay so inside the other they might have a sense of like It's almost like, well, like it's almost like I kind of told you so. Like they kind of knew it was going to be this way. Somehow or other, they might have been holding on to this. They might have been, like, say, aware of this capacity, of this potential uh, for themselves to be at this level with you, in relationship with you. But it has been very dormant for a long time, pending your decisions, Virgo, to take your love and relationship world to the next level. And in so doing, it could be a very tragic, painful decision for you to make, but it also opens the doorway to a new life ahead because there is a whole new life and world ahead. It's just that right now you might be swamped in the sadness of having to make <clears throat> really important decisions um, between what was and what is, okay? This is gone, it's spilt, it's, it's over. It's very tragic. It's very sad. But you've still got the beautiful two little miniature version of the Two of Cups right here waiting for you whenever you're ready, as soon as you're ready. And it looks like you've got someone really good and wholesome who's waiting for you and very, very dedicated, very solid in the way that they express love and relationship. And they might have something to offer solid as well, you know, in more worldly terms. In other words, they could be a really good catch for you Virgo in terms of a person just a person forget the gender male or female just someone who is let's say very in tune with themselves in the most like elemental ways in other words it's very very simple like nothing I'm okay it looks wonderful it looks really splendid here there's the king of pentacles you know they call this the Midas card turns everything into gold that they touch and that's good but it could be in the more spiritual way here in other words you could have struck gold Virgo when it comes to a relationship because 
if this is a significant other who has started to see the potential of being with you, Virgo, which makes them have the chance to resonate at their best, best, best selves, which is always been there but might have never had a chance to uh, be fully expressed before that can be very very satisfying for a, a significant other for a chosen one here I don't see a lot of let's say exploitation of their power or their dominance here they could do you know because there's so much wealth and capability and abundance here but it's in what capacity is this would this be abuse of power I don't think so it's like expression of power and sovereignty of self in a way that this significant other may have never had a chance to do before. So that's kind of satisfying for them. Even though you might be going through your own, I don't want to say, well, I'm, I'm going to say it, torment um, in order for this to come about. In other words, making very, very tough calls, very ca tough call to justice call to balance things out in your life in your world which let's just say has a very sad hangover effect but it's potentially very beautiful for the long term uh, the way things could pan out for the long term because you've got someone over here who sees that side of it so that could be very good for you because at least Virgo you could see that there's someone who's actually there for you in a really good solid way okay even if it means having to say goodbye to something that you've known before. We'll see. Let's have a look here. What about the nature of the relationship itself? Wow. Gosh. Wow. Okay, Virgo. So this is very, very pure. I'm just going to go for it as terror illumination. I feel that this is potentially something very beautiful. And again, we're going back to that uh, Neptune in Pisces in the seventh house energy for you, uh, Virgo. In very simple terms, this would be like pure love. This would be the Neptune energy expressing itself at the highest frequencies, which is ultimately what Neptune wants to do. And it's extremely, extremely hard to do this. So somehow or other, it might just be through synchronicity where you, Virgo, have met your match in such a way that you couldn't really have planned it, but it's there, they've shown up, and they're starting to show their true colors, which happen to be very appealing to you, Virgo, and which ultimately translates into a relationship of pure love, literally the highest expression of Neptune energy that matches very, very well with, let's say, the intent of the relationship, the the meaning of the relationship is to be an expression of love at the very highest frequencies. So that's very, very beautiful in its own way. Of course, it's very easy to slip off of that uh, because the standards are being raised very, very high. In other words, you might already be highly evolved, Virgo, but circumstances are happening in such a way you're, where you're being called, called out and you're calling it out on yourself too to rise up to the very, very highest standards of spiritual integrity like never before. So, yeah, wow, gosh, okay. <laughs> oh, what is it? Where does this take us? Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> I was so scared about what car was going to come up here. I feel like I got let off the hook here because you've got the little three of cups. It's so complimentary. Look at all these cups here for you, Virgo. Look, 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 look. Cups, cups, cups. Forget that the misery's here. It's okay. You're a human being. We all go through this at some time, some point. I'm trying to put the super positive spin on this for you, Virgo. It's just that you might be one of those people who scored by being willing to be really truthful just an honor the energy of truth honesty and uh, that's it the energies of truth and honesty and calling it out on yourself calling it out on the world around you seeing your life situation as a chance like a time period in which it's appropriate now for this to happen and then guess what happens it's just like the energy of decisions 
you know, how to put that? The moment you lock in the intention, you make the intention, then everything shifts according to that intention. Those are like part of the laws of attraction. We're not going to go into that here. But in other words, by willing to do this very, very brave, courageous thing here, calling on yourself, calling out yourself, being willing to accept um, perhaps any sorrow or grief that comes with it, uh, by realizing you have to raise your standards and you have to go along with what is most spiritually demanding but spiritually rewarding, you get this lovely situation where it looks like you scored, Virgo. You scored with someone who gets it, has almost been waiting there, and now they're seeing their role come into manifestation to be that, let's uh, basically like perfect partner for you in divine union. It's divinely blessed, and it's to the point where you can actually enjoy it and share it and celebrate it with your friends. Maybe it's still very, very new, and you can't turn it into things like a marriage or an engagement or anything like that. But just knowing that this exists at all, do you know how rare it is for, to have this card in this position, Virgo? And then to be topped off by this, it's very, very beautiful. You have a right to uh, pour yourself an extra treat whatever that might be. If you have a special little herbal brew that you like, try that. If you want to have a little bar of chocolate and you want to share that with your friends, do that. If you want to maybe have a little, you know, just a little tiny celebration with a few people that you love and trust, you don't even have to tell them about any of this. Just it, love breeds love, okay? It's that simple. Love of this caliber breeds love that can be shared and celebrated with others. It's very, very beautiful. And I'm not going to say anything else. Thank you so much, Virgo. Please make the best of it. Reinterpret as you have to. Make uh, That's your decision. Uh, watch your sun, moon, and rising. Thank you for choosing Terra Illumination. All the best in November. Okay? Bye. Bye for now.